Hi all, I am Bajesh Kumar. Today I am discussing about Informatica MDM Customer 360. The agenda for today's video is Informatica MDM versus Informatica MDM Customer 360, Customer 360 process and overview, Customer 360 architecture, and a few demo showing how the Customer 360 is designed and details about the Customer 360 implementation. So, first thing is Informatica MDM and Informatica MDM Customer 360. So, Informatica MDM or platform is a set of tool or utility which helps us design various things related to Informatica MDM like data model, match rules, trust rule, hierarchy, and IDD configuration. When we install Informatica MDM, Hub Console, IDD configuration tool, positioning tool are some major components which get installed. However, on the other side, Informatica MDM C360 or Customer 360 is a solution which is developed using the tools which Informatica MDM provides. So C360 comes with pre-configured ORS which has the data model, uh, hierarchy configuration, IDD application etc. Master Data Fueled Application or C360. So, so Customer 360 is also called a solution or accelerator. So this uh, customer 360 is sold uh, three different purposes onboarding of the customer it helps us onboard the customer data to Informatica platform it helps in engaging us customers for example um, provide different view for different user for sales user the view would be different for uh, finance user the view is different engagement it provides some charts and functionality which helps manage uh, <coughs> engage with the customer like how many customers has been added and other details can be stored in the task on the chart sorry so the architecture of the customer 360 is as below it uses informatica mdm services like e360 model active wars security match and merge trust configuration task management etc and based on that it develop it <coughs> customer 360 has a pre-configured data model the data model can be utilized in various domains like retail domain, manufacturing, healthcare, insurance, and telecom domain. Apart from that, some other configuration or the wizard has been built, which is part of which is not part of platform but has been built so that uh, it helps user engage more efficiently. <coughs> so the these wizards are like uh, uh, custom workflow, custom workflow, task manager, etc. So uh, as for the demo, I'd be showing uh, data model of customer 360 hierarchy configuration match tools, IDD application, and some of the customer 360 application and its details. So <coughs> in Hub Console, if you can see, we have the data model, and this data model is a party-based data model, meaning like everything is uh, built around party. So if a party has a email, then our email-based object is built and a reference to the party is given if party has address a party child address child is being built and similarly things like that which we we'll cover in later videos if we come to the match and mouse setup in the match and mouse setup we can we need to um, build the match and mouse setup from scratch because the match and mouse is organization specific and it varies based on the department or based on the organization to organization. Hierarchy configuration in hierarchy configuration, uh, some of the entity and relationship type is pre built. If you want to add some, we can definitely go ahead and add it. We will, we will recover how to customize the data model, how to add something, and how those things can be added to the customer 360 UI as well. So as far as UI is concerned, so in UI we have various things like uh, home page. Home page will look like something like this. We have the charts over here. We have something called task manager. We have uh, like my record thing. So in task manager we will see the task which is assigned to this particular user. So this user is a part of data steward user. Then he will see what all task this data steward is assigned to. For example, he may be assigned some MOS task okay so those tasks can be seen here so uh, draft record concept is something like this for example a data steward is getting a record into the customer 360 but at that particular time he do not have all the details about the customers 
in that case he can save the record but that record will not be persisted in the database it will be in the draft state until unless he submit it it will be there in the draft state only and it will not be viewed or it will be viewed only by uh, the user who has created that particular record coming to the search functionality customer 360 provide various search functionality uh, like we have the query based search and a uh, overall search that is elastic search so query based search is a search we, where we can search the detail based on the b level we can select any field of the b and based on that particular field we can fetch the data and the elastic search is the search which is configured in the provisioning tool level and we define certain field as uh, searchable field and based on those field we will search the details okay so we have discussed the hierarchy configuration match rules and IDD application so let's go to the IDD application so customer 360 also provides uh, application um, it's a zip file uh, if we show this is the zip file which get uh, created uh, so this is the zip file so inside the infimdm app tcr idd so this is the zip file which get shipped with in uh, informatica mdm so let's log into the idd configuration tool we will see it the subject area based uh, model so we will see what all details has been uh, <coughs> furnished here so for example we have some party based models like uh, organization person recognition contact and household detail we have some hierarchy configuration also so these details are there to support only hierarchy it has it has nothing to do uh, with the customer 360 since hierarchy is based on a subject area base that's why we are supporting this that's all for this video thank you